Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Nady Decoder. In today's video, we're going to be starting the new section that's basically called the data types. And in the lecture, we're going to be talking about methods of primitives. Before we dive into the lecture, please make sure you watch the previous lectures on JavaScript in order to follow along. So let's just dive into the lecture. So basically, JavaScript allows us to work with primitives like strings and numbers and all that as if they were objects. They also provide methods to call as such. We'll talk about that soon. But first, we'll see how it works because, of course, primitives are not objects. And here we will make it even clearer. Now let's look at the key distinctions between primitives and objects. So basically, a primitive is a value of a primitive type. And there are basically seven primitive types like string, number, big integer, boolean, symbol, null, and undefined. But in contrast, an object is capable of storing multiple values as properties that can be created with the object literal that we have seen in the previous lectures. There are also other kinds of objects in JavaScript like functions, for example, or objects. One of the best things about objects is that we can store a function as one of its properties as we've seen in the previous lectures. As an example, you can see that we have the say hi function or method over here that we are saying as a property to the as a property in a John object. And we're calling it like this. So here we have made an object John with the method say hi. Many built-in objects already exist, such as those that works with dates, errors, and HTML elements, for example. They have different properties and methods, but these features come with a cost. Objects are heavier than primitives. They require additional resources to support the internal machinery. A primitive is an object. Here is the paradox faced by the creator of JavaScript. There are many things one would want to do with a primitive, like a string or a number. It would be great to access them using methods. Primitives must be as fast and lightweight as possible. So the solution looks a little bit awkward, but here it is. Primitives are still primitives, a single value as desired. The JavaScript language allows access to methods and properties of strings, numbers, booleans, and symbols. In order for that to work, a special object wrapper that provides the extra functionality is created and then is destroyed. The object wrappers are different for each primitive type and are called, for example, string, number, boolean, symbol, and big integer. Thus, they provide different sets of methods. So let's assume that we have a variable called name and the value of name is basically John. Then there exists a string method that is called string dot to uppercase that returns a capitalized string. And here is how it works. So when I save it and I refresh, you can see that we are getting the capitalized name over here. So it looks simple, right? Here's what actually happens in string dot to uppercase. The string is basically a primitive. So in the moment of accessing its property, a special object is created that knows the value of the string and its useful methods like to uppercase. And the second step, that method runs and returns a new string that has been shown by the console log. In the third step, that special object is destroyed, leaving the primitive string alone. So primitives can provide methods, but they still remain lightweight. The JavaScript engine highly optimizes this process. It may even skip the creation of the extra object at all, but it must still adhere to the specification and behave as if it creates one. A number has methods of its own. For instance, dot to fixed method rounds the number to the given precision. So in here, we will get 3.45 instead of 3.45678. The constructors string, number, boolean are for internal use only. So the ones that you're seeing over here. So some languages like Java allows us to explicitly create wrapper objects for primitives using the new keyword. And that's also possible in JavaScript for historical reasons, but highly unrecommended. Things will go crazy in several places. So for instance, if we want to check the type of a number zero, then it will return number. But if we use the constructor object over here with the new keyword and we want to find out the type of this, then it basically returns an object. So objects are always true the in the F. So in here, the condition will always be true. And on the other hand, using the same functions, string, number, and boolean without the new keyword is totally fine and useful thing they convert a value to the corresponding type to a string, a number, or a boolean primitive. So for instance, if we pass a string to the number constructor, while printing the value out, we'll get a zero that's basically a number. Null or undefined have no methods, since these are data types as well, but we don't have any methods for them. The special primitives null and undefined are exceptions. 
they have no corresponding wrapper object and provide no method and since they are the most primitive. So that is the end of the video and I hope you have learned something new in this video. Please like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and make sure to press the bell icon for further updates and until then I'll see you in the next lecture.